With the exception of my mom, most of the people watching this channel are probably car people, which means that at one point or another we've all decided that cars are real neat and we're going to waste varying amounts of time, money, or emotional energy on them. Which is why I've always found it very interesting that there's such a disconnect between an interest in cars and an interest in bikes. It seems like people are only interested in one or the other. And it's very strange because from a theoretical standpoint, they both should interest the same people. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about why every car enthusiast should be a bike enthusiast too. So let's talk about it. But it makes sense. Motorcycles have all the same qualities that people really enjoy about cars, just on a much more extreme scale. So let's talk briefly about numbers and specifically power to weight ratio. If we're talking about, say, my buddy Mark's Evo 10, it makes 400 wheel horsepower with full bolt-ons, and I think that most car enthusiasts would say, yeah, that's pretty sick, that's pretty rad. This car weighs 3,700 pounds with drivers, so with 400 horsepower, some quick division tells us that it's going to push 9.25 pounds per horsepower. Meanwhile, the average 600cc sport bike is gonna make about 110 rear wheel horsepower on average. And they weigh a shade over 400 pounds, generally speaking. So let's say 600 pounds with a rider. That means the average 600cc sport bike is only gonna to have to repel five and a half pounds per horsepower, four pounds less than a 400 wheel horsepower Evo. This car would have to make 675 wheel horsepower in order to have the same power to weight ratio as the average stock. 600cc bike, but that's not even talking about 1,000cc bikes, which often make 160 wheel horsepower nowadays, 50 more than a 600. And the numbers hold up in real life as well. Back when my bike was new in 2007, a skilled rider would have been able to take it to 60 miles an hour in 3.1 seconds, and it would do the quarter mile in just a shade under 11 seconds. For perspective, that is just a tiny bit slower than a modern Corvette ZR1. And from a purely mechanical perspective, bikes are still easily as interesting as cars. We all get really excited when we see an S2000 or a RX-7 that can rev to 9,000 RPM, but consider that the average sport bike, like this sport bike in particular, can rev from the factory to 16,000 RPM. Also equipped from the factory are individual throttle bodies and a sequential six-speed cassette style transmission. The engineering here is really impressive. You can get a new ZX6R or comparable sports bike for about 10 grand, or you can get a used one for literally a third of that. Either way, the bang for the buck performance-wise is pretty ridiculous. But to be perfectly honest, I think a bunch of people already know a lot of this information, and it's never really about numbers to begin with. People like cars because of the way they make them feel. And I think in that department, bikes have an even bigger advantage. The feeling of riding a motorcycle is exhilarating in the same way that riding a roller coaster is, except that you're in control, and you decide when the ride stops, and you decide when the ride pops a wheelie and flips into a ditch. Riding a motorcycle is all the excitement of being a kid again and riding your Huffy around the neighborhood, except your Huffy has the acceleration of a ZR1. Riding motorcycles is just good fun and extremely satisfying. The difference between it and cars is that 90% of cars on the road are probably nothing to look at and nothing to drive. They're not particularly interesting in any way. They're just transportation. Whereas with bikes, 90% of bikes, whether it's a sport bike, a cruiser, an adventure bike, a sumo, a cafe racer, or a moped, they're all entertaining. <laughs> But I can understand why bikes might not have the same appeal. I think a couple reasons stand out to me. First of all, it's a skill that you do have to learn and the learning part can be a little bit risky. There's a saying that goes, it's not if you're going to fall, it's when. And so of course I just got all my falls out of the way right off the bat when I was young and still made of rubber. can be tricky and scary and sometimes painful. It's all the anxiety of learning to drive stick shift, but with the added possibility of sucking gravel for your troubles. 
The second thing is that bikes are a luxury. I've met plenty of young car enthusiasts with ratty 240s or Hondas, but because they have that inherent practicality of a box on four wheels, they're able to both meet their daily needs and engage in the enthusiast community. Meanwhile, the average bike, without expanded storage or hard bags or something, you can fit uh, your Game Boy Advance and your copy of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. If you're trying to fit your Final Fantasy VI port, no dice. And finally, I think a big reason why people get into the car scene is because you have the opportunity to modify and customize your ride to really fit your spec. You can really make it your own. And never mind the fact that 90% of all WRXs have the same three mods and they're all virtually indistinguishable from one another. I think that's something that's kind of lacking in the bike community and I might be off base on this, but it's not like you can buy a wide body kit for your bike and if you get a different set of wheels, it's entirely possible that absolutely no one will notice. It's not that there isn't a modifying community for bikes. It's just that a lot of people myself included, don't really bother. But if having a quick beer in the shower has taught me anything, it's that you should never knock it until you've tried it. So I would say that if you have the opportunity to go and learn how to ride a bike or go ride, absolutely you should do it. It's some of the most fun you can have on the street or on the track. And in summation, I think all car people should be bike people too. So with all that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Are you a car person? Are you a bike person? Are you both? Why, why not? Ben and I both really love bikes and I would love to incorporate more bike stuff on the channel going forward. But right now I'm gonna go for a ride. So thank you guys again for watching and have a great day. People like cars because of the way they make them feel. Because of the way they make them feel. 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 If you're trying to fit your Final Fantasy VI port, no dice. That was the whole reason that Nintendo had to invent the Game Boy Advance SD. Oi! Oi! Close the butterfly valves, the flaps or whatever on that. Can you close up the butterfly valves? Make it quiet! The feel, the feeling, the feeling of the feeling of the feeling, the feeling. If I were to draw a Venn diagram of the cross, let's see, how does that line go? If I were going to draw a Venn diagram, I would shove it up my butt.